In this video, I'm going to walk you through the bad habits you need to break in nursing school or they will take you down. Don't be mad at me when I burst your bubble about these bad habits. I promise that life will be so much better once you give these things up. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. I'm going to go through the top mistakes and bad habits that I see nursing students falling into and ones that I fell for as well. Now make sure to watch the whole video because you might not even realize you're doing some of these things right now and I don't want you to email me in six months and say, Christina, I wish you would have told me sooner. Well friend, I am telling you today, so listen up. The first bad habit you absolutely need to stop doing in nursing school is reading every single word in your textbook just for the sake of reading. Look, I get it. Your professor assigns you a thousand pages to read every night and they tell you that you have to know it all. But friend, let's just look at reality for a minute. You only have 24 hours in a day and you should spend at least eight of those sleeping, please. So really, you only have about 16 hours to go to class and clinical and practice your skills and write your care plans and study. You do not have time to read every single word in your textbook. That is just the cold hard truth and nor should you. Here's the mistake I see nursing students make all the time. You spend all of your time reading everything in the book that you don't have any other time to actually study and learn it. So by the time your exam rolls around, you've read your textbook, but you aren't able to apply the information or critically think about it. And guess what your exams are going to test you on? They are not going to test you on random facts from the textbook. They're going to test you on your critical thinking. So you'll just waste all of those hours reading and end up with a bad grade. Do not do that. Stop reading your textbook just for the sake of reading the textbook. It's a total waste of your time. Instead, leave yourself time to actually study and learn the information that you need to learn so that you can actually apply it and critically think about it during your exam. If you want to know my step-by-step -step study process for how I did this in nursing school and got straight A's, make sure to download the free nursing school study checklist that I have for you that walks you through my study process step by step. Now the link is down below for you to snag it in the description. And if you are struggling with critical thinking in nursing school, then these videos are for you. Now the next one is a huge problem and I know you've heard it about a gazillion times, but hear me out because this one carries the heaviest consequences if you keep doing it. Bad habit number two that you must break not taking care of yourself. I know, I know, you have heard this from a thousand other people too, but for real, my friend, if you keep going at lightning speed and not taking care of yourself in nursing school, you will burn out hardcore. We've all had those moments where you just don't have the energy to keep going and all you want to do is just stay in bed all day. And when you try to go study, you reread the same paragraph a hundred times because you can't remember what you just read. That is not productive, my friend. That is burnout. When you're physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausted and that you can't think straight, you know it's long past time to take a break. So when Instead of allowing it to get to that point, make yourself and your health a priority from the beginning. Take time to do one thing that you enjoy every day, like taking a quick walk, sitting and enjoying your coffee for a few minutes rather than just running out the door with it, <laughs> getting a quick workout in possibly, or reading a book that has nothing to do with nursing school. Now these little moments of self-care every day really add up, but if you keep running from it and never take care of yourself, you will end up unmotivated and unproductive. And that is not a good headspace to be in during nursing school. Nursing school moves way too fast for you to spend a week or two recovering from burnout. So just take a little bit of time every day to do something you enjoy. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Even these small things really add up. Now, before we go on to the next bad habit you need to break, and trust me, this one's a doozy, I want to give a shout out to Charles 
for our YouTube comment of the week, which says, new subscriber, I love your energy. It is so refreshing seeing a positive video about nursing school. This was super helpful and I look forward towards your other videos. I have been so overwhelmed by all of your kind comments the past few weeks. It is amazing. It's becoming increasingly harder to just pick one of these comments to share in these videos. Thank you so much for your love and support. It really means the world to me. So keep your comments coming. They really light up my day. Now the next bad habit that you absolutely must break in nursing school is procrastinating and giving up. Oh wow, do I see this problem all the time. Students tell me I'm going to fail anyway, so why should I try? Or everyone fails that exam. There is no way I'm going to pass. So let's just put a stop to this once and for all. First, do not ever listen to the rumor mill in nursing school. I talk more about the dangers of that in this video, so don't buy into the lie that all nursing school gossip is true. It is not. And second, you are so much more capable than you realize. Seriously, friend, you were in nursing school. That's a huge accomplishment and you should be super excited and grateful for how far you've come already. And now you're gonna tell me that you wanna quit and give up just because you think you're not good enough? No, 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 I am not buying that. And I'm certainly not going to give you permission to quit on yourself. This is your lifelong dream of becoming a nurse and you need to fight for it. No one else can do it for you. So stop telling yourself that you can't and start getting to work to make it happen. Yes, you're going to fail along the way, but that's just life. We all have to fail in order to succeed, but don't let it stop you from becoming the nurse that God created you to be. So stop putting off studying and get to work, friend, and never, never, ever quit on yourself. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you what to do if you do fail an exam, I promise, it's not the end of the world, and I will tell you exactly what to do in the next video, so be sure to check that out. And don't forget to download your free nursing school study checklist where I walk you through the study strategies that I used to get straight A's through nursing school. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And now click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. I'll catch you in the next video, my friend. Take care. Bye.